you today. It's Sunday again. Today, before we get started, I have something to show you. I found this mysterious looking basket right outside my apartment. So I brought it in and I want us to open it up together. It's this basket and I can feel there's something inside. So let's check out what's inside together, guys. Feels kind of heavy. I wonder what's in here. Huh? It looks it looks empty. I can I can feel something. What can it be? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wow, is is this what I think it is? Wow. Oh wow. This this is incredible. something really really cool this, this is awesome oh, guys I think that I just found an invisibility cloak oh. so guys how valuable do you think that this invisibility cloak is do you think I found treasure the Bible talks about treasure and we're gonna dig into that today so before anything So before we dive into the Word of God, let's pray together. Dear God, thank you so much for this beautiful Sunday. Lord God, I pray that we will worship you with everything that we have. God, please meet with us today because we need you and we want to encounter you. Lord God, open up our spiritual eyes, open up our hearts so that we may be able to hear you and get to know you more today. Lord, we worship you and we thank you because you are the King of Kings and yet you stepped down from your throne to come and save us. We praise you and in Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Today's Word of God comes from the New Testament. It's actually something that Jesus said. It's a parable about the kingdom of heaven. So let's see what Jesus says. Please open up your Bibles to Matthew chapter 13 from verses 44 to 46. Ready, set, go! T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Like every Sunday, let us all use our voices to declare God's word together. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. 
Amen. The invisibility cloak I found could be so valuable and it could be worth taking all the money that I have and using it just to buy that cloak. Guys, imagine that you found an invisibility cloak. Wouldn't you want it? It's so incredible, it's so rare and so precious. It's like you found treasure. Can you imagine the excitement? Can you imagine how you feel knowing that you have this amazing, incredible thing that you can take home with you? I wanted to hold on to that emotion because the Bible says that the kingdom of heaven is like that. Today's Bible verses tell us that the kingdom of heaven is like finding really, really, really valuable treasure and how the people respond to it when they find it. The first man was walking around in a field and he saw that in the field was hidden a treasure. So he was joyful when he went to sell everything that he had to buy that piece of land because he knew that in that land was that treasure and that treasure was worth more than everything he had. The second man was looking for pearls. Pearls are like precious jewels and when he found this really really special rare pearl that he knew was valuable he also went and sold everything that he owned so that he could buy that one pearl because he knew how precious that pearl was. And the Bible is telling us today that the kingdom of heaven can be compared to this. You see, the kingdom of heaven is worth more than anything in this whole entire world. Jesus said that when the man found the treasure and the other man found the pearl, they gave up everything they had so that they could have this one other thing that they knew was better. Getting that treasure or that pearl became the most important thing for them. So everything else they owned didn't matter anymore. That shows us that the kingdom of heaven should be the most important thing for us. So what is the kingdom of heaven? It's not a magical distant place that exists in your imagination or fairy tales. Being in the kingdom of heaven means that you believe in God and you serve Him. You know that God is your king, so you belong in His kingdom. Living for God and one day going to be with Him in heaven is worth everything. There is nothing more important. Both the man who wanted to buy that treasure and the man who wanted to buy the pearl, they had to sell everything that they owned in order to have that treasure or that pearl. They had to give up everything to get the most important thing. So. This means that the kingdom of heaven is not for people who want to keep all their stuff, all their own treasures and their old lives and add on to it an extra treasure. The kingdom of heaven is not going to be found by everyone. Only a few will find it. And who's going to find it? Those people who realize that living for Jesus is the most important thing and everything else in comparison becomes kind of like dirt because living for Jesus is the most important in their lives. So the big question is, how can we live like that? How can we live every day with the attitude and the heart that the things that belong to this world is just temporary and we need to live for the important thing which is for Jesus and that is going to be what's eternal. How do we live with that kind of heart and attitude every day? It's very easy to forget that. When we go about our daily lives, doing our daily activities, doing our duties, responsibilities, how are we going to remember the kingdom of heaven which we cannot see with our physical eyes? The Bible has the answer to that question as well. So let me read the Bible verse to you. It comes from Matthew as well, from chapter 24, verse 42. 
Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. Amen. The answer that Jesus is giving us is this. If you want to live this life with the attitude and the heart that you belong in the kingdom of heaven because you follow Jesus and you live for Him, then you need to live every single day as if Jesus is going to come back any moment. The Bible promises that Jesus is going to come back again. The first time He came, we all know that Jesus came and lived in this world so that He could die for us on the cross. The second time that Jesus comes, He is going to come as the King. He's going to come as the judge. So when He comes back the second time, Every single person in the world is going to be judged and we will see God face to face. And if we try to change our lives then, it's too late. Our hope and our chance of following Jesus is right now. So we need to be prepared for that day, the day that Jesus will come back. But we don't know when it is. So Jesus tells us, live every day as if Jesus is going to come at any moment. When we have this mindset, we are also going to have the attitude to live for the eternal things, not for the temporary things of this world. We will not live for ourselves, but we will live for Jesus because at the end, that is what's going to matter. Guys, the invisibility cloak is not real, but even if it was, and even if it's worth millions and millions of dollars, and even though we could do so many cool things with it, and it's so valuable and so precious, at the end of the day, the only thing that matters and the only thing that's going to last is whether or not we live for Jesus in this world. So this coming week, let us remember that this world is not forever, it's temporary but there is something that's forever and we can belong to it starting today, starting now. Let us live for Jesus today. Let us live as if Jesus will come back today. How will our lives be different then? You might make choices that are different than how you would have made if you just assume that you're gonna have another day tomorrow for a normal life. When we have the mindset that Jesus is gonna come tonight, then today's life will be completely dedicated to Him. So let us live like that every day. Let's pray. Dear God, help us remember what is the things that are worth giving all our lives to. God, I pray that we will live for You alone, that every single moment and every single day will be dedicated to You, so that we will worship You with all of our hearts and minds, that we will obey You and follow after You. We want to be Your disciples and we want to be ready and prepared for Your second coming. We love You, we wait for You, and in Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Okay, brothers and sisters, please have a wonderful week. And also, I want to remind you that if you have any prayer requests or have any concerns or questions, you can reach out to me and I'll make sure to pray. I love you and miss you guys. Bye!